my two-year-old's a dad. Shouldn't you maybe substitute some sweets for, for a more healthy option? I said, you're wise beyond your years, little girl, but no. So we set off down the sidewalk till we found a candy store. And then by golly, we found it. Grand Haven, Michigan, downtown, right there. Fortino's, Fortino's Gourmet Grocery Store. Walk in there, found myself seven dozen Whirly Pops. And I saved one for tonight. Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and I have a giant blue and purple Whirly Pop. So I walk into the store. Get the Whirly Pops. The kids ask for some, some almonds, and I said, you won't like those. Here, eat some sugar. And I said, great. Thanks, Dad. He said, no problem. I kept walking back to the back of the store. And I saw a barrel, a barrel just sitting there. And what was on that barrel? Was a gosh dang bottle of this stuff. Buffalo Trace. And I was like, is this my, am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Or is this my favorite store in the whole wide world? Lollipops? And bourbon pops? Hells yeah. It's a store pick of Buffalo Trace. And I was like, I've never bought a store pick of Buffalo Trace before, but it's because it's like 90 proof. I'll pass. I was like, I'll pass. I don't, I don't need this. Then I asked the question, that sold me the bottle. I said to the young man behind the counter, I said, young hipster. And he said, fat man, yes? I said, tell me, boy. Take out, take out your AirPods and tell me, does the store select their barrel themselves? Do, do you go down there and select the barrel yourselves? And he said, we sure do. And I said, I want nothing more or nothing less. I want nothing less than, I want nothing more than. God dang it, I don't even. <laughs> I would like nothing more than. I hate when I get to a pickle like this. <laughs> anyway, I was like, if these people sell candy, I bet you they can pick a bomb ass barrel of bourbon. So I bought it. I bought it, obviously. This is my review of Buffalo Trace Bourbon. It's a single barrel, I know. But I make the rules around here, so shove it up your bottom. Hold this for me, hold that. You hold that for me? Here, just take it. Just take it. Hold that. Fine. Sweet as the whirly pop, but sweet. Give it a twirly like the whirly. Oh, biatch. Whirly pop, swirly pop, burly pop, burly pop, swirly pop. Boom, boom. Some, some sweet corn. Sweet corn. Candy corn. Candy corn. Cornbread. Candy cornbread. cornbread cake. It's sweeter than cornbread, so it's like a corn cake. Corn cake with buttercream frosting. Apples. No, no, pears. Those are pears. Those aren't apples. Those are pears. Oh, yeah, 
Watson has got a good nose for a 90 proof bourbon. It's got a nice little nose on her. Got a nice little nose on her. The ancient. Mm, that's good. Wow. Is that good because I just ate candy or is that actually really good? Okay. Honestly. What the? <laughs> so, so I've obviously sampled this bottle before, and it wasn't. It was good. It was. It was good, but it wasn't. I think the ticket. The ticket is to have a whirly pop, a blue and purple whirly pop, before you drink this. That pairs magically. The ancient paths of countless buffalo led America westward. Okie dokie. Legendary explorers, pioneers, and settlers alike followed these trails known as traces through rugged wilderness to new lands, new adventures, and newfound freedom. America. One such trace, called the Great Buffalo Trace, crossed the Kentucky River at a spot just north of present-day Frankfort. The story's getting good. That's so good. Early pioneers settled here in 1775, and with plentiful pure limestone water and rich river bottom loam, whatever loam is, for growing exceptional grains, distillation quickly followed. With an unparalleled reputation for creating outstanding bourbon whiskey, the Buffalo Trace Distillery today stands as one of America's oldest distilling sites. I just read that so fast, oh my god. Oh my gosh. This is a match. And I didn't even mean to do it. I was just trying to be funny with a sucker. But, come to find out, I was the sucker. The bold heritage of the mighty buffalo and the individuality and pioneering spirit of those early Americans are again found in Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Traditionally handcrafted Buffalo Trace has a smooth, confident taste that invites discovery with every sip. Explore Buffalo Trace and taste the spirit of legends. Hmm. Well, that was a bunch of blibbity blibbity blah blah blah. It's good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not bad. But, um, this is a nice sipper. This is a nice sipper. I'd have to compare it to the regular old small batch Buffalo Trace. But this single barrel from Fortino's in Grand Haven, Michigan. Not sponsored, but I would like a free whirly pop. Yeah, the nose on it was really good. The palate is sweet, but it also complements sweet nicely. I like it. And I like that store. It is a candy store and a bourbon store, and that is perfect for me because I can bring my kids there and not feel like I'm a jackass. I still feel like a jackass, so I don't have to though, but I just do. Just kind of story of my life kind of thing. Be sure to hit subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let me know what your weirdest bourbon food pairing is. If you don't want to do that, just leave an emoji of a middle finger. And if you can't leave an emoji, just write middle finger. Magical. That's amazing. I'm not kidding. I'm actually not kidding. That's really good. Hmm.